One of the big struggles for cancer patients is just trying to understand what's happening to them. The information is complex, it's abstract, and it's really hard to get a good grasp of what's happening. And this is important because this can impact patients in negative ways with anxiety, compliance, trust in their physician, as well as shared medical decision making. So with the support of my department and a grant from the Colorado Cancer Coalition, working together with Colorado State University and clinical psychology, we looked at implementing virtual reality within the clinic for imaging review, as well as doing a clinical trial to see the impact of this on patients. Virtual reality is a way to bridge that gap to be a leveler for patients to help them actually understand and speak on the same level as their providers. But more importantly, it can allow them to be engaged in their own care and make decisions that they're fully informed of. But what's really impressive about virtual reality is we can take those individual image slices and put them together and present a 3D representation of their own imaging, allow patients the chance to look inside themselves or their caregivers to look inside themselves and to see what's actually happening to visualize their tumor and to see why they're having certain symptoms and understand why certain treatments are recommended. From our study, 83% of patients said this was the best educational tool that they had had up until that time. And you had 97% of patients saying this should be a standard of care for them. Multiple patients said they wish they'd had virtual reality much earlier in their diagnosis just to understand what was going on. So I was diagnosed with a squamous cell carcinoma at the base of my tongue. It was still difficult to, to understand um, where it's at because it's my body, right? And I, and I don't, don't know where, what's going on inside of it. And it's hard to look at a simple picture. When I came here, I got to see my body in front of me in, in, in 3D. I didn't have to look at some images that are sliced to my body. If you could go in there and zoom in and cut through it, we can clear where in the body the tumor is at and where are the problem regions that they have to attack. And I could actually see where the x-rays would be going. And that was just really remarkable. It was like comparing a, a child's drawing to the Mona Lisa. It did make it more real for me because I was able to look at myself in a third person perspective Everyone should have an opportunity to do this. It's really helpful. Another insight I've actually gained from this project is physicians think patients understand more than they actually do. Up to 80% of the information presented to them is nearly forgotten immediately. Additionally, up to 50% of the information that is retained is wrong. From our clinical study, 83% of patients rank virtual reality as the top educational tool over all other methods. Patients reported an increased understanding of their own tumors and disease from 5.6 up to 9.2 out of 10 from just a five to seven minute session. So these are some blind spots. And here we have something that can be a next generation teaching tool to really help patients be engaged, understand what's going on and be a part of their own care.